Good morning, students. I am Dr. Vijay Bandari, Associate Professor in CSC Department, SIIT. So I will teach you today Python tuples, how to use tuples in Python programming languages, right? Now let's start with the topic tuples. So first, I will explain you what is a tuple, and uh, I will give you a lot, a lot of uh, more examples so that you can understand uh in, into a python with the tuples so a tuple is a collection of objects which is ordered and immutable whereas you can you have seen the list which is mutable which is can be editable which can be changeable which can be the elements can be removed pop right but tuples are sequence just like a list the differences between the tuples and list that is the tuples cannot be changed unlike lists so tuples are parenthesis whereas list are uses square brackets right so that i have shown you when you create the list so in uh, in brackets but you create the tuples in a parenthesis right so we must worry about that so we're creating a tuples like is as a sample as putting different comma separated values so optionally you can put these comma separated values between the parentheses for example like uh, t is tuple and here i am giving the elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 right this is the comma now if we want like uh, create the empty tuple so that we can create the empty tuple the wrong way to declare a tuple with the single element like when i write one so that is the wrong thing also if i add some comma so this is also wrong statement now so i will teach you i will give put some basic example practical example of that so that you can easy to understand right so first we let's do some practical sets examples now open the ideally if you have not seen my uh, list video so you can just prefer list video l4 video right now i will create new file and save it right tuple right now i'm creating a tuple using parenthesis now t is equal to i will use the parenthesis 1 comma 2 comma 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 comma 10 whether i print t so will it execute yes one two three four five six seven and nine nine these are the elements which i have created as a tuples right now if suppose t1 is equal to this is the empty tuple and i suppose i wanted to print t1 so will it execute yes or no no yes it is like empty tuple right but if i want to like if i uh, like uh, which i have shown you in ppt so if you want if i want to create your some adding the elements so this is the wrong way to declare a tuple with single elements right but it prints the elements right as it is when uh, you print one comma right so it just 
I give you the example one comma. So tuple, you can create the tuple with single elements, right? So these are the ways to create the tuples, but uh, the wrong way to declare a tuple with single element, but it gives you the result, right? So printing the element of a tuple. Now print T1, T, and uh, I want to just uh, pick the first element. So here the output will be one, right? Here T0 is equal to one. If I want to element six, sixth index, so it will give you seven because zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So just I wanted to ask about that. This is the element of zero, one, two, three, four, five, fifth element. This is the sixth element. This is the seventh element. This is the eighth element. This is the ninth element, right? There's like zero element, one, zero index, one index, second of index, third of index, and this is like fourth of index. So these are the indexing. Now I want to just Just a second. Yes. I want to just print ninth element. So, will it be executed? Yes. Ninth uh, element will be 10. Right. So, hopefully, you will be understanding with the tuples how it works. Right. Now I give you another example of that can't be update the values of the tuples. How? Like uh, T zero, right? And is equal to twenty one. Now will it work? Nothing because it can't be updated immutable. So tuple object does not support items assignment. So this is the meaning of that tuples can't be edited. That's why it is immutable and list is mutable. That can be edited, that can be changed, that can be insert. Some elements we can insert, we can pop, we can remove, we can uh, add, whatever the, uh, the operations can be performed into list. But in tuples, we cannot edit any ways, right? So this is the create, how to create the tuple using parentheses. How we create the empty tuple? What is the wrong way to declare a tuple with the elements? One comma if you add tuple with single elements, <clears throat> printing the elements of a tuple, right? Cannot update the value of the tuples. How I have shown you example of that. Is that clear to you? If you have any questions, to please put your query in chat box. Now I will create the tuple using like if we want to count the elements right if you have if i have created a tuple t is equal to one two three four up to ten elements and if i want to like uh, print t one dot count how many is one are there so just execute this command and gives you the like uh, tuple does not support this uh, items okay so just i think uh, i have to comment it first Now it is not able to print T1 is not defined. So I think T1 is not defined. Yes. So here I have to create the object T1. Now will it execute? Yes. Yes. One. So how many repeatable of one? If I want, if I add here directly, so it will count one. 
So if I want to count one, two, right? So there is two times one. If I want two, two, so I will give some example of that two. So it will execute how many times the two comes? Six, yes. So if you count this one, two, three, four, five, six, so it will count your elements using tables. Now I want to print t1.index of seven. So will it execute? Yes, 12. So seventh element is the seventh. This is that 12th index. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So these elements will be in the index of 12. Right. Now, if I want, suppose D2 index of 2, let's see 2, 0, 1, 2. This first in uh, 2 comes in index of 2. So that is correct answer. Right. So index of 2 is 2. I think uh, it is uh, uh, the, this is the real example of uh, the tuples which I have uh, explained to you. And uh, the more operations, the more practice makes you perfect. So pra keep practice on the tuples and list, right? So that you can uh, explore yourself more, right? And be uh, keep care uh, be aware about when you create the tuples so this is the immutable objects right so in today's lecture i have shown you what is a tuple how it works and uh, what is the difference between list and tuples right so tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variables right tuple is the one of the fourth built-in data types in python used to store collection of data, right? And tuple is a collection of which is ordered and unchangeable, right? It should be in an order. It should be an unchangeable, right? So where we write the elements in the bracket that is called list, but in parentheses that is called tuples, right? So when we, want to index or we want to retrieve the elements based on the index so we can pick it very easily in by the tuple using the tuples so tuples items are unchangeable ordered and allowed duplicate values also so here you can see the duplicate values different types of the duplicate values like two two many times it is repeated right so it is possible Right. So tuples are indexed, and first items has indexed zero, second items has index one, respectively two, three, four, and minus one. So it is ordered, right? So is that clear to you? It is ordered when we say that tuples are ordered. So it means that the items have a defined order, and that order will not change. So that is ordered. And what is unchangeable? So tuples are unchangeable, meaning that we cannot change, add or remove items after the tuples has been created. And allow duplicates, since two tuples are indexed, they can have items with the same values, right? So for example, I have shown you like uh, uh, tuples I have created, there is apple, banana, cherries, apples, cherries. So uh, if, you, if, if I uh, execute the tuples, so it will print apple, banana, cherries, apple, cherries. So it is the way of uh, creating and printing the tuples, right? 
so if you have any doubts please ask me in chat box thank you thanks for today goodbye see you i will uh, discuss uh, the difference between the tuples and uh, list in a real scenario in next video thank you